So by now you guys are well aware that we picked up this uh, bad decision. <laughs> but uh, there's, we're going to talk about a few things that we're resolving on this truck. I actually have it running pretty well already. It had uncapped fuel injectors in it. Uncapped fuel injectors are a great way to get more fuel into your engine. But instead of having a spray pattern, now they're just more like a bucket of water being dumped into your cylinders. So every time your fuel injector fires, it sprays a pattern of fuel. This is good because it atomizes your fuel and it's a regulated amount of fuel that's being passed into the, into the cylinder. And I'm all wet. Now when you uncap your fuel injector, you get something a little bit more like this every time the injector fires. And if you don't know what that fuel rate is, my feet are cold. If you don't know what that fuel rate is, you're gonna completely overfuel your engine and then bad things happen and you buy another engine at the junkyard because you just blew that one up. Uncapping injectors will give you more power and more, more fuel flow, but you don't know how much is going into the cylinders now. So we actually took the uncapped injectors off of this truck and we sent them out to have them cleaned and flow flow rate tested and all that stuff and they came back as 75 i think it was 75 pounds per hour uh is what the average was there's a couple a little bit more a couple a little bit less and it wasn't too expensive to get that done but we got it done and i still haven't put those back in this yet because i wanted to make sure that this thing was doing everything it needed to do with before we added a whole bunch of power to it. Now one of the things the previous gentleman who put this car together did was when he pulled, put the uncapped injectors in, he got rid of the little clips. There's little clips that hold your injectors into the fuel rail. And they look like this. It's just a little flat, it's just a little metal clip. It goes around the top of the injector. It engages in the injector and it holds the injector into the fuel rail. And if you don't have these, you end up having 60 PSI in the fuel rail, and it'll push the fuel injector out of the fuel rail, and then you have a fuel leak, and your car goes up in a ball of flames. And nobody wants to watch your car burn on the side of the road. So I hopped online, and I got a, a set of eight clips for like $6 delivered. These clips are something that should absolutely be on your car. From a safety standpoint, if they're not on your car, you're gonna have a fire. And I'll show you, because I had this thing running great, and uh, went out to fire it up one morning, and I heard it hissing, and I'm like, oh, one of the fuel injectors popped out. So I'll show you what happens. Now you can see, that's a mess. That is fuel spraying all over the place. And if your headers are hot, you're now on fire. So now that you know why you always want to have your fuel injector keepers on your fuel rails, I'm going to pull my fuel rails out and put my keepers on so that I can safely drive this thing in and out of my shop. But to end this video with all the good stuff that's going on, the vehicle runs, it drives, it stops, it idles, it revs, it makes good power. Um, really, I'm just at the point of tidying up a few little things. The engine will be ready for us to put the larger injectors in it and see what kind of power we can put down to the pavement after we put the rear leaf springs in it so that we have some proper structure and support in the rear to support the wheels putting power to the pavement so that's where we're at pretty good progress for the amount of time we've spent on this thing looking forward to actually driving it down the road should be a completely ridiculous truck when we uh when we get it ready to put power down to the pavement well with that i'm gonna head back into the shop and get some other work done get my injector clips put on this guy and we will continue to move forward. 
Thank you to all of you who are watching our shows. We appreciate the likes and comments. Feel free to subscribe if you wish to do so. With that said, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world we're in right now. Hopefully I get to see all of you guys on the other side. Peace.